A history-making moment in this country, the U.S. Senate voting to confirm the first African-American woman to the U.S. Supreme Court. Fox 23's Quintus Jones has local reaction to this historic confirmation. That's right, this is a groundbreaking day in our nation's history. Judge Katanji Brown Jackson will be the first black woman to sit on the high court. Now to put all of this in perspective for you, of the 115 Supreme Court judges appointed, 108 of them have been white men. Now four women will sit on the court. Judge Brown's confirmation comes after a tough round of questions from lawmakers. In fact, Mississippi U.S. Senators Cindy Hyde-Smith and Roger Wicker voted not to confirm her. Hyde Smith saying in a statement she could not in good conscience support Judge Jackson. She says her record indicates a readiness to legislate from the bench at times in a manner that risks some of the basic freedoms that are at the core of our Constitution. I spoke to Hattiesburg Councilwoman and attorney Deborah Delgado about our senators voting against this confirmation. Here's what she had to say. While I didn't expected, you know, I would have thought that our senators from Mississippi would step into this century and this day, you know, and do the right thing. But again, they failed us. Delgado and Forest County Justice Court Judge Gay Pope Payton both agree Judge Brown is qualified to hold this prestigious position. It was a very, very happy experience for me. I've been wanting to be a judge ever since Sandra Day O'Connor became a um, Supreme Court justice when I was in ninth grade. And so this just kicks it up a notch for me. I'm, I'm just very, I'm thrilled for her and I'm thrilled for what it means to our country because that woman, it seems to be one of the smartest people I've ever listened to talk. I mean, it was amazing. She's just, she has a brilliant mind and I know that she's gonna be an asset to the court. Meanwhile, President Biden held a celebration for Judge Jackson on the White House lawn today. For more details, head to our website, that's myfox23.com. Quinnis Jones, Fox 23 News.